Dr. Francis Quest Wilson passed away on January 2nd, 2016. If you don't know who she was, you can start by going to Wikipedia and doing a search for Dr. Francis Quest Wilson or the Crest Theory of Color Confrontation. But her passing got me to think about a couple of things that I notice happens whenever we lose a great person. Whenever we lose a great thinker or a great leader, just like when the martial arts community lost Bruce Lee. What are we going to do from here? Now that the great one has passed, are we going to break up into our own factions and of interpretation of the great person's work, talking about who has the greater truth and who doesn't have the greater truth? Are we going to attack anyone we feel is being critical of the great one? Like we do when Bruce Lee passed away, you know, in the martial arts community. Are we going to insist that everybody comes together? And that usually means that the person who's saying everyone should come together wants everyone to follow with their vision of what the great one said. Whether it's true or not, true to what the vision of the great one said. Are we going to do that and disparage anyone who goes against the Great One or who says they want to have their own view? Or are we going to do what I think we should do is think about what the ultimate goal of all the Great Ones whose passings we mourn are. Whether it was Bruce Lee through martial arts, whether it was Dr. Frances Quest Wallace through her theories on uh, color confrontation and race theory, Ultimately, the goal was really simple. It was to make the world a better place. Whether or not you agree with what the Great One thought. I didn't agree with everything that Dr. Francis Quest Walsing said. But I respected her ability to say it very, very well. Amazingly well. It was a brilliant woman. And gas hard. I don't agree with everything that Bruce Lee said. But I know that there are things that were said by these great ones that I learned from and have been a positive influence on my life. So we're going, so I'm going to take the things that I can take from the great ones and apply it. Apply it to how I can go about making the world a better place. So I'm going to put this challenge to you. I don't think we all have to become a great one, but it would be really great if each and every one of us would go about the tasks that the great ones wanted. And whether it was martial arts, Francis Chris Wilson case, who was dealing with racism and color confrontation, let's go about making this world a better place. Remember that at the end of the day, whether we agree, we disagree, some people say you're being hard or being soft. See that whole hard, soft approach? You know, hard, soft approach. Or you think you should be direct or indirect? At the end of the day, it would be great if each and every one of you and I just focused on the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal of making this world that we live in a better place. God bless all of the great ones.